What's going on guys? A couple weeks ago I asked you to send in some questions. I'm going to be going through a bunch of them now. I apologize in advance if I pronounce anybody's name wrong, but with that being said, let's just get started. Nerul asks, where are you from? Um, I'm originally from a small town called Port Elgin in Ontario, Canada. I was born there and then lived there for most of my life until a few years back I moved to a city called Kitchener, which is where I'm living now and it's about an hour away from Toronto. Far asks, do you have any tips for singing and how does someone quote unquote find their voice? Um, the best advice that I could give you would be to find a good vocal coach, somebody that is local and is affordable. If you can't find anybody in your area or you can't afford one, there are quite a lot of vocal coaches on YouTube that do post video lessons and those videos are good, they're just not going to be as beneficial because they're not going to be tailored specifically to you. And how does somebody find their voice? Um, that's going to be primarily done through practice. I know that's super cliche, but practice does make perfect. I'm still learning new things about my voice every day. Um, but if you can, try to sing like half an hour to an hour a day, and then you're going to see a huge improvement. Alexis asks, how difficult is it to learn each part for every song? It's not too difficult. I would say it's more time consuming than anything, just because a lot of the songs that I do learn are fairly simple, but I tend to struggle with lyrics. So I would say that that's probably the hardest part for me is just remembering the lyrics when I'm performing live or when I'm filming one of my covers. Daffa asks, what are your hobbies? I still kind of consider music a hobby, even though I do it full time now. But uh, aside from that, I would say video games. I probably play way too many video games. I've been playing since the original Nintendo and basically every console ever since. All right, so these next questions were asked by multiple people, so I don't really have names associated with them, but how do you decide the songs that you cover? This has changed over the years. I am primarily trying to find songs that I actually enjoy that are a few years old, but are still popular today. I used to do it where I was trying to find songs that were trending or songs that had just come out. And I was finding that I was putting all this work into one of these videos. And then three months down the road, it would be basically dead in the water and was getting like five views a day. And I just felt like it wasn't really worth the investment of time. So now I'm trying to find songs that, you know, a year or two years down the road, people are still going to be searching for or will stumble across my channel and will actually still want to watch those videos. What is your favorite genre of music? My favorite genre of music would basically be a mashup between like rock, post-hardcore, and emo. Bands like The Used, Seosin, Under Oath, Alexis on Fire, basically bands from my childhood. That's kind of still the music that I gravitate towards, um, but I'll listen to anything as long as it's good. When did you learn to play guitar, drums, and bass? I got my first guitar when I was 8, but I probably didn't really play it until I was about 10 years old. That's when I learned how to play a power chord and then I started writing music from then on. Drums, my dad is a drummer so I had drums around me my whole life, but I didn't really sit down on the drum kit until I was probably a teenager and even then I was just fooling around on it. But I would say I started actually learning and practicing drums when I was about 23 years old. I was going into the studio to record an album called The Phoenix, which you guys can check out on my channel if you're interested in that. But I didn't have a session drummer for it. I was actually going in and doing all the drums myself. So I had to really sit down and practice and I was practicing about an hour or so a day. And bass, basically because I can play the guitar, I can sort of play the bass. I'm not really a great bass player by any means. Uh, you know, I play with a pick and I basically just play the root notes, but I can kind of find my way around on one. And last but not least, what is your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is red. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I do want to do another one of these in the future, so make sure that you keep an eye out for that. Remember to give it a like as well as subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys next week.